is painting day in my house. If you watch my goals video for 2019, I think I mentioned that my goal for, one of my goals for 2019 was to paint Kate's room, the living room, and the hallway. So I ended up painting Kate's room last Sunday. I'll pop in some pics here of before and after. And I'm taking some time this week to start on the living room and the hallway. Now, this is a huge undertaking and I guess I'm being very optimistic to think I'm going to get this done quickly. We go on vacation next Friday. Today is Monday. So I'm hoping to get all of this done and shared with you before I go to vacation. Now, let me be honest. A lot of like the wall things are not going to stay once we pull down everything. Um, so today you're just going to basically see the before and the after of the painting. And I guess we're going to make this a gradual thing. So I'll share with you before and after of the painting today, how we put everything back together. And then we're going to slowly go through this process. This is one room that rarely gets filmed on a video unless it's a clean with me video, but it is time that we change that. So the brown color in this room, I do not like at all. It's just not the shade of brown that I really like. So we're going to change it to the gray. The, it's the repose gray, I think is the name of it. I put it at the bottom here. The reason why all of the rooms are being painted the same color is because when we change the office, I did share that on Monday, so click that card above if you want to see the before and after of my office space. Now, that is a work in progress too, so just take note. Um, we had three buckets of paint left, so we used half a bucket in Kate's room. So with the extra two and a half buckets, we're hoping to cover the hallway and the living room. So I am going to turn the camera around and kind of give you a little overview of this space and share with you the color and then we'll go from there. So on camera, the color does not appear nearly as bad as it is because the light is bouncing off of the wall, but we just really don't like it. So yes, and do you see, I don't, you can see on this camera better than I can. Do you see that line right there? These are things you don't notice when you purchase a home until you get in the home but evidently they repainted before they tried to sell the house but they didn't repaint all the way up the wall so literally it stops right there so that is a big eyesore if you notice that it's there if you don't notice it's there it's really not that big of a deal so we are going to pull the gallery wall off my husband was like, can we do something different with that wall? And I was like, yes, I definitely want to do that. So all of these are going to come off and I'm hoping to redistribute everything throughout the house. So there are pieces that I really love, but we're just ready to do something different with the back of this wall and we're going with the cottage theme. So we want to make this room look more cottage and home like. So I'm just going to give you a little round the room look here. Now this green table is something that is either going to get repainted or something. It's not going to be done today, but that is something that's probably not going to stay looking like that. Just for a little bit of reference. This over here is what needs to be completely redone. So the pictures are going to come down in the cross up there. Y'all, that my husband was like, how are you going to paint up there? I'm like, I don't know. I'm going to get it done. You guys, I have no idea. We're just going to, that's going to be, this wall is going to be last. So this is needing to be sold. Remember that video where I said, um, say no to negative emotional clutter. That's one of the pieces right there. If you've not seen that video, highly recommend it. Click the card above to check that out. That is a piece that we want to go. And we actually want to get like a white um fireplace that has the dvd set in it and i had one picked out from big lots and i didn't know it was a seasonal thing so i'm hoping they bring it back if they do i'm gonna get it this over here is my grandmother's curio cabinet oh i don't know I've, i want to keep it because it's my grandmother's but it just does not fit in this house so i don't know if i want to sell it i don't know if i want to try to repaint it that is that's a piece i cannot figure out what to do with 
So we're gonna figure that out. And then here is the hallway. So the hallway is also going to get painted. It's going to get painted last. It looks like a hot mess right now because I'm in the middle of doing laundry. And then all of these over here are the paint blankets that I have that I'm fixing to pull out for the living room. So that's what the before looks like, you guys. Feeling so small, watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out, so Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna take a trip to Mars Nothing can Drive a faster car Lay my troubles to rest Blow the smoke through my cigarette City lights looking fine And I know this is my time now I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes Mm. Okay, let's try this again. Excuse the dishwasher that is making the loud noise. It's still working, but it's really loud. Um, I had to change my battery because my battery was dead. Um, I was going to just completely do a second coat on everything, but looking at it once it's completely dry, it just looks like it needs to be touched up in spots. So I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing is just touching it up because a lot of it looks perfect. It's just the edges that need to be fixed. So we're just gonna kind of play that by ear. So I've got everything, it's roughly three o'clock. I started this at about one. So this is going a lot faster than I had anticipated. So I'm gonna show you right now what all I have done and what we are fixing to do or what I'm fixing to do. So this is what I have finished right now. So I'm not doing the top part until my husband gets home because I'm going to have to get the heavy duty ladder from the garage and I don't want to fall. So I'm kind of clumsy and I'm not the best painter in the world. So I'm going to wait for him to get home in a couple hours to do that. So we've got all of the window area done. Next, I need to do this frame. I haven't done the frame yet, so I think I'm gonna do that next. And so that is right there. I've got that done. And I haven't started on the hallway yet. That'll be last. Bella has, this is the first time Bella has been in here. So she's like, oh my goodness, now you're doing something to the living room. And this is what I am tackling right now. So once again, like I told you, I can't even get that little corner right there. So when my husband gets home, we'll figure out what we're gonna do up there. Cause that's the, that's the bigger, biggest issue is that very top up there. And I've already pulled the TV out, but I'm gonna unplug everything and move the curio cabinet and get this entire section painted next so that is what we are about to work on so i've painted all the way up until the tv i have so much mess in here that i cannot find the little my manfrotto to use my camera 
So I'm going to hope that I don't drop this uh, because I wanted to give you a little update real fast. So now it's roughly about 4.30, I think. My husband is now home. He brought me something to eat. The only thing I've eaten today besides my breakfast bar was a, ba a bag of popcorn. So he brought me food and now he's mowing the yard and he set up the ladder for me. So we are going to attempt to paint the very top up here without his assistance. And I think he's brought me in a pole too, to use if I need it. I will tell you that this is not taking nearly as long as I thought it would, but the big the big kicker is gonna be up here on this little, um, I don't even know what to call that thing. So I am winding it down. So what we're gonna do right now is we're going to tackle that up there. that feeling the sun in my face it's so well needed life will take care of the rest biking alone in the sunset through the canals or the mindset i needed yeah i needed oh let's freeze time gather around watch the sun go down oh in summertime looks like a mess. Day one is now finished. We are stopping right here for the day. Nathan helped me finish the very top edging because I just could not get that part of the ceiling. So everything is done. We're gonna stop for today. If this wall gets completely dried, the main wall, I am gonna move that stuff back. I'm not gonna move the couch back, but I can move the bookcases and things back and dust and all that. Um, and then the only thing that we have left, left, we have, then the only thing, oops, then the things that we have left to do either tomorrow or sometime this week, I'm going to turn you around, is that top section up there. The hard part is, I mean, the good part about up there is you've got the ledge that you can kind of balance yourself on. But Nathan said the bad thing about it is how deep it is. So unlike behind me, he's gonna have to be able to lean in and paint the edge. And it's so far back, you're probably gonna have to have a stick for the little edger that we have. And we don't have one of those, so we need to get one of those from Lowe's. And then the hallway. So which those two things should not take a lot of time because this living room is actually not taking nearly as long as I had anticipated. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like right now. It looks so much better. I like it so much better than that ugly brown color. And that is a different color because that is what he just painted. So once it dries, it will all dry the same. In there it looks really good you guys welcome to day two of the painting which is actually friday so the first portion of this video was filmed on monday and i decided to just take a few days and not kill myself like i did with the office and the bedroom so today's painting is going to be the hallway and then the very top up there so I will tell you between Monday and today, I did sell the dresser that was in the living room. So let me turn my camera around and show you. So when you see the after of this painting, you were going to notice that the TV is now sitting on the coffee table. And we plan on leaving it that way until we get a little fireplace unit that we want for the wall. So. 
that was one thing that I did not want anymore and posted it on Facebook and somebody offered me a good amount for it. So I sold the dresser. So this is gonna be our makeshift TV stand until we get something new. Then I've got to decide what I'm going to do with the curio cabinet. It was my grandmother's, but it's just not fitting in our house. So I'm going to talk to my mom about what she wants me to do about it. Up there, I, that's going to be last today because we are needing a little extension for the um, edger that we use. So my husband's actually got to go buy a new um, paintbrush to get up there because that is a lot deeper than it looks. So that's gonna be last. The first thing that we are going to do is the hallway, and it's kind of hard to see because this curio cabinet's in the way. So I'm gonna take everything down, like I did in the living room. There we go. Take everything down, clean off the walls, which if you've never cleaned your walls or it's been a while, I highly recommend it because mine were so dirty. That's something that you don't realize gets so dirty. So I'm gonna pull everything out of here, do some dusting, and we are going to get this hallway painted. I am super excited. Okay, you guys, I think I about have the hallway completely painted. I wanna show you, and I've noticed something that we didn't notice when we moved in was the painting that they did. They did a horrible job. The door frames, I actually had to touch up with gray paint because the brown was on the door frame so bad that when you looked on the hallway, it's the first thing that you notice. So it looks so much better and we still have that to do. We're gonna do that. That's gonna be last when my husband gets off work. So it looks so much better. I've touched up everything. I think the hallway is about done. Well, I may have to go through and do a little bit of touching up, I noticed. You see all that dark right in there? Like I had to put some gray over it because the brown was all the way right here on the edge of this door frame. So I actually had to put some gray on the door frame. Honestly, we'll probably have to go through there and repaint the door frames as well, but we're not gonna do that now. That's gonna be in the future, but it looks so much better. And most of it's done and look up here, like up there. The brown is actually on the ceiling. So I've got to figure out if I'm gonna cover that up or what I'm gonna do. So my husband eventually wants to get crown molding, but I mean, that is a huge eyesore. When I look through here and I see that brown up there, all of that looks like it's on the ceiling. So I may have to go through there and really see what I'm gonna do. But so far it looks really good. So the next order of business is going to be that little ledge. And down there, I had to um, touch up some paint. That's why it doesn't look like it's the same color because that is wet. We are on the last and final day of painting, the third day. And we finally gone to Lowe's and gotten the piece that we needed to get the very top of this room finished. So that is what my husband is about to start painting. But I wanted to show you what little piece he had to get to make this work since it's so deep he got this ceilings and walls 
brush applicator, whatever you call it. We have the little stick that goes on the end. So this came from Lowe's in case you are curious if you want to purchase one. The living room and hallway are now completely painted. Everything is put back in here and it looks so much better than it did before. So I'm going to give you a before real fast before I share with you the newly painted living room and hallway. And this is the after. I think it looks so much better. Remember the coffee table there is going to not be there forever. Probably will be there until at least fall or winter when we get something new, but it looks so much brighter. It looks so, it looks really bright and clean to me. And I don't think this living room has been dusted this much since we moved into this house. And let's do a before and after of the hallway area. And the after. And what I decided to do about the curio cabinet. I told y'all I was not sure if I was going to keep that or not. But what I did, I just swapped them out. So all of the white is in the living room. So I just moved this bookcase or cabinet into the living room. And then moved the curio cabinet to the very end. So the curio cabinet is my grandmother's. And I would kind of like to keep it. So I think it looks good down there. We've just taken everything that was in the living room that we weren't using. And I just decorated that space. So I'm going to walk you through one more time. Let me back up so you can kind of see this wall over here where Armani and Kate are sitting. So I told you that we are not going to do anything behind the couch right now because we are going to do something different other than the gallery wall. We had that you guys, we've had that since probably five, six years. Before we even moved into this house, we had that same gallery wall. I just moved it. So I think it looks clean and we really need to choose something that we really like and maybe one big focal point there instead of a bunch of little pictures. So I will show you real fast where everything came from. The couch is actually from Facebook, a Facebook yard sale find. Somebody that I work with was selling that couch for like $400. We needed a new couch. I didn't want anything new because we have kids and animals, $400. So we've had that for a few years. The bookcases you guys have seen several times. Well, the bookcases you guys have seen everywhere they have been in several different areas and now they're in the living room they are the carson bookcases from target i really like them and i'm going to link everything below that is available so this is how i've got them decorated right now those are one stack of our shutterfly photo books you'll see the other in a minute those are the dvds that i've organized if you've not seen that video i'll link it and this is what i did if you have books that you want to display but the covers are random colors just turn them backwards that's what i did more of my woven baskets from target that pillow is from ikea the blanket is from nordstrom that is actually from our old couch Hi, Kate. Hi. 
And then this here, I've had that, somebody made that for me. There are the rest of our photo books for right now. These are the smaller ones. The other ones over there are the larger ones. This frame came from Hobby Lobby, West Elm Vase, and more books turned backwards. And that is woven baskets from Target. I told you I like the woven baskets and I think they add nice texture to the room. So over here, cotton colors, woven baskets from Target. I think I got that from Hobby Lobby. I think that, no it didn't, it came from Target. This came from Target. I got several of these, one of them broke. So I just put that there. Somebody made that for Derek, Target basket. I made this Mickey topiary. I will link that in a card above if you've not seen that video. Really easy to make. I made my sister one too. Coffee table was a Facebook yard sale find. Lots of things in my house came from Facebook yard sales. Then this here, the frame at the top I get asked about a lot. My mom, right before I had Kate, got me all of the months from, oh, I think it's like personal expressions or something like that. They don't make them anymore. This is a Carson, I think they call, I don't know if they call it a cabinet or what, but that came from Target as well. It goes with the bookcases behind me. So that is the newly painted living room and hallway. Absolutely love it. The last room that we wanted to paint in this house, another thing marked off of my summer to-do list. And I'm so excited with how it looks now. So as we update everything, I will definitely share all of that with you. And another item marked off of my summer to-do list. And it feels so good to have a newly painted living room and hallway. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this transformation video. I hope you give it a big thumbs up by giving my videos a thumbs up. It shows YouTube you're engaged and you like my content, which means they'll start suggesting it and recommending it to more people, which means our community will grow and will continue to spread positivity. Also, I hope you hit that red subscribe button to become a part of our community and our mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. Hope you guys have a fantastic week and until next time, bye you guys.